hi beautiful people hello welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Lilian Shiro I trained as a nurse in Kenya but I apparently work in the UK as a nurse and I work in a care home so in today's video I'm gonna cover the process of working in the UK or becoming a nurse in the UK if you've not trained in the UK or if you've not trained in any of the EU EU countries so if you're interested and you want to work in the UK you are in the right channel because um, I'm starting now and I'll take you through the process and it's very very easy guys like if you compare other countries like US and Canada or Australia where most people usually go to work abroad as nurses you find out that in the UK the process is much much friendly so stay tuned to the end of the video and you're gonna get some tips and if you like this video please remember to give us a thumbs up and also if you've not subscribed to my channel kindly 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 subscribe to the channel and i really appreciate your support so let's get into it Number one, number one, you're supposed to do your IELTS or OET. These two tests, it's either you choose which you wanna which you wanna do, either IELTS or OET. This is to prove your English skills because um, in the NMC it's required. So you need to do your IELTS or you do your OET. This is to prove your English skills or your English proficiency so guys for the IELTS it's required a score of seven overall before when we were coming it was seven everything but then they have reduced the writing to 6.5 so that's really good and then for OET you need to have at least a B in all writing reading listening and uh, speaking the same as in IELTS it was seven all of them even writing but then so many people didn't make it because of the writing people used to fail in writing so that's why they discussed and they reviewed the score to be 6.5 for the writing then if you are doing OET you need to have B in all the categories but this one will be a different video to discuss both OET and IELTS and the differences but something you should know is that OET is not in all countries they are selected countries that have the OET but IELTS you can do in any country so that is number one and once you've passed your IELTS you you require to do your CBT so guys the second thing is to do your CBT so your CBT is computer-based test or exam in every country there's a selected center where you're supposed to do the CBT and nowadays you get the results the same same day like myself I remember when I did my CBT I got my results I left the center and within very few minutes when I was waiting for the bus to go home I got my results and in Nairobi Kenya I'm talking about Nairobi Kenya and the test center it's in Westlands so guys there's something I want to clarify here the IOTS and the CBT you can either do any before the other but because these are inevitable you can't come to the UK without doing this too but you need not to worry because once you've that, that's why I normally emphasize you can either do the one that you feel more comfortable you can do CBT because it's very easy guys and that's why you're required to have at least one year of experience nursing before you come to work in the UK most of the questions is what you've been doing in your wards or in your clinical areas or what you've learned in school those are the questions you normally do in the CBT 
so and because they are very easy and you have the knowledge you can start with the cbt and then as you practice for your ielts or you can start with ielts which would be much much better because your mind will be settled once because ielts is the most trickiest thing that people normally go through it's the most challenging exam for people to do so why don't you do ielts and then uh, once you've settled your mind that you've passed your ielts then you can proceed to cbt or either way the way it suits you the way it works for you so anyway that is stage two stage one is you do your english uh that is ielts or oet and stage two is cbt now stage three before before covid we used to do in like i remember myself i did my exam no sorry i did my interview even before i did my ielts like when i was training for my ielts is the time i was doing my interview but nowadays you have to do your ielts first and cbt you have to pass before you are offered an interview but that's why i was saying for as long as you've passed your ielts you've passed your cbt then you do the interview but this interview in case you want to work in a care home like where i work you need to go through agency i've not heard of anyone and if i hear around i'll let you know i've not heard of anyone who is working in a care home and they came independently or they contacted the care home like directly no i've not heard of that but what i know it's if you want to work in a care home you need to use the agency for them to get you an interview to secure you a job in a care home but if I saw you want to work in the NHS, you can really, um, you can actually, you can actually apply by yourself and mommy. do the process by yourself. Mommy, yes, can I mommy. Drink water? Yes, please, sweetie. I have to drink water. I always drink a lot of water in my mouth. Okay, mom. Oh, you can drink water. All right. <laughs> oh, my lady. Okay, guys. So what i was saying is so for the interview that is the third stage interview needs to be organized by your employer and your employer either should be the nhs or should be a care home so if you are applying directly by uh, yourself to the nhs they will organize for you if you're working if you want to work in a care home and you're going through an agency the agency will organize Thank you, mommy. You are welcome, mom. Your agency will organize an interview for you with the employer. So that is interview sorted. So the other stage is, remember you did your CBT. This is the process of NMC. So when you do your CBT and you, uh, you've passed, you're supposed to register with the NMC. You need to do a registration with the NMC, whereby you're supposed to submit the required documents and I think I should do, there are several documents which are required for the NMC. I think I should do a different uh, video like explaining to you the kind of documents that you need and yeah, and what you need to submit to the NMC. So you need to register to the NMC so that you can start now. I think I used around 150 pounds to register for the NMC. CBT, I paid 130, yeah. So what I'm saying is um, for after the interview, now you're doing registration with the NMC so that you can start like, you know, because they, they I don't think they can ask you for the documents if, if you don't have an offer letter, you need to have the offer letter. So once you have the offer letter after your interview, now you can proceed and submit your documents to the NMC. So after you've submitted and they have reviewed all your documents, they will give you something called decision letter that is to tell you now you are all clear. You can pack your bags and you can come to UK. Yay! <laughs> so UK. <laughs> the best UK. Okay. Yeah, the best UK. All right, ma'am. Let's continue with this video. Okay. So once you have the decision letter. You can now start packing your bag and you can come to UK. So now guys, once you get here in the UK, that's why I said this process is very, very easy. You need Let's to do to OSCE. OSCE, OSCE in a, is an exam that tests you about your experiences and your skills. 
basically what you've been doing or what a nurse is supposed to do what you are required this one we've done it like when we were training we used to go to the clinical areas and most of these things you will you will know how to do them that's why i said it's always good to apply when you have one year experience actually that's a requirement for you to come to work in uk you need at least one year ex of experience or depending with the employer it's six to one year experience of experience before you come to work in the uk so what i'm saying is once you get here you need to do or skip this is like a skills the way we used to do skills um like they are an evaluation test of your nursing, nursing skills so you need to do your OSCE that is for testing your skills and what you know about nursing how you'd handle situations or cases in the ward or in the care home setting you have to do if you have to do a procedure so when you get here guys OSCE will take you around let me say within three months there are even people who have done OSCE within two months but mostly it's three months because your employer will provide some of the employers they do provide um training like they will train their nurses because they want to make sure that you you're gonna pass your oski and most of the people guys don't be scared most of the people they do pass their oski with one go but if you don't get it within one go before if you failed one skill you used to repeat all of them but nowadays if you fail one skill you are just repeating just one skill so you don't have to be worried and you can sit for the skill anytime as soon as possible actually i remember there are some people who if they didn't make it they like for as long as they had money to like reapply for the oski they would pay immediately and they would sit in the next exam date so you don't have to be worried but i'm sure and okay i won't say i'm sure but once you're here in uk you don't have to worry these employers they normally provide the best best training for you guys because Mommy. they don't want anyone to fail Mommy, can we go to uk we are in uk sweetie oh and i'm an old uk Mom, we are in UK. Yeah, with beautiful people. Okay, guys, that's my daughter Marlene. So, guys, once you've passed your OSCE exam, that's the time you're gonna now pay money to register for your NMC pin. This is the pin. It's like the way we we used to have like um, a license, like a nursing license back home. That's your license here. So it's called a nursing pin and you pay 120 pounds. And as soon as you pay, the better. So I would say, uh, like when you're already doing your OSCE training and you're doing your exam, be ready with 120. I've had people who have registered the same day and the pin, they have the pin by it's the following day. So yeah, your pin is like a license, a nursing license, like the one we used to have back home so here we call it pin and that is what gives you the right to work as a nurse here without a pin you can't work as a nurse if your pin is expired you need to renew and this is very very serious it's a serious case actually there are people who have been stopped working because or they have been in, they have been investigated because their pins expired and they never renewed and they continued to work so please please when you come here don't make that mistake you should remember every time your pin is expired you need to renew like immediately you need to renew like immediately the good thing is that most of the time they give you like an allowance if like it's in february they would say your pin expires by 28th or your pin expires by 30th or your pin expires by 31st so you have an alert you already know by this date i should have paid my for my pin but the thing is don't wait until then although you have an allowance it's good but please don't wait until then make sure by the day you know you registered your, yourself you registered yourself with the nmc and you have the pin that's the same day you should pay for your pin and once you've paid it's immediately updated so you can log into your nmc portal and then you can see that it's been updated that up to date 
So yeah, and once you have the pin, you can work as a nurse anywhere in UK. So guys, thank you so much if you've made this Mommy. far. I really appreciate it. and I'm wishing you all the best guys we are waiting for you in case you have any questions you know want to know about the NMC process or the yeah NMC NMC actually it's nursing and midwifery council of the UK back home we used to have a nursing council but then this one it's um, body nursing and midwifery so guys thank you so much for watching and please if you like this video remember to give it a like and also if you've not subscribed to my channel guys please subscribe so thank you guys for watching till next time